Hey, what's going on guys? This is your boy the Death Smasher and today we are back with a should you summon video because tomorrow we are going to be getting the sixth round of manga characters. We're going to be getting Mayuri finally because I'm, I'm sure a lot of Mayuri fans have been waiting for him to uh, come out and it's good to see that he's actually coming. Nemu is going to be coming in and she is a fucking savage. I'm, I'm, I'm glad that we finally have a good Nemu now for the first time. And of course, Zombie Tosher, which to be honest was a waste of a slot because we already have Thousand Year Blood War Tosher in there. But a lot of Toshiro fans are going to be content to being able to pull this Toshiro because he is actually good despite the fact that in the manga he Im immediately lost to uh, Mayuri it, because he immediately got drugged and yeah, he didn't really do shit. Oh yeah, before we go ahead and start the banner analysis and take a look into the gameplays, let's go ahead and take a look at our new intro, shall we? Okay, so let me know what you guys thought about the new intro in the comment section below. But anyways, uh, today we're going to be breaking down the banners. So, of course, like every single other Thousand Year Blood War slash Camp Your Own World banner, we're basically going to be getting five different banners. The first being the Double Chance Gotcha, three individual banners, and then, of course, the Droplet banner, where all three of the characters come back, but in a low 0.5% uh, uh, chance to even being able to pull one of the Thousand Year Blood War characters. It's 3% with 6 characters, which I'm gonna say this right now, save this banner as a last resort. Let me just go ahead and uh, get over directly with uh, what you should prioritize on. The banner you should prioritize on the most is the Double Chance banner, because it's a higher rate of being able to get a manga character. Let me take out the calculator. Okay, excuse me, this was an old calculation because I already did this video before, but I decided to redo it because I just felt like it wasn't good. So, for starters, let's take a look. Okay, we already know that we have Mayuri, we have Namu, and we have Toshiro. But we also have um, other fillers. So, Retsu and Banken are back as fillers, and they're also not in the premium summons. And along them, we also have Past Shunsui, Lupi, uh, Tag Team Ikaku and uh, this 20DR Jushio who is just a link for Noitora. Bad one at that though because he only has fucking SP but it is a 20DR link. So if you guys pull him you'll be able to use this bitch on Noitora very easily. So yeah it's a double chance banner. So to, to even pull a 5 star it's 0 0.66 six, six, excuse me it's 0.667% to even pull a 5 star. So let's just go ahead and do the math. So we have three manga characters, right? Let's multiply that by three. And it's a 2% chance to even be able to pull a Thousand Year Blood War round six character. But keep in mind that we also have Retsu and Banken in the banner, so it's technically going to be five characters if you guys think about it. So what are the odds that you'll be able to pull with Retsu and Banken included? It's going to be 3.335% to even pull a manga unit in general. So overall, the, the odds are going to be in your favors when, when you decide to summon on this banner. So my honest opinion is that go for this double chance banner. And if you end up being with two out of the three characters and you still want that specific t character, then all you got to really do is just save up for the individual banner and wait for... Um, Wait for it to come back. Like, hold on. Let me let me take it out. Okay, there we go. Thousand Year Blood War Round Six characters coming soon because. <sighs> come on, no, don't don't do this shit to me. I don't want to edit this shit. Like, I just want to be able to do this shit with bare minimum editing because I'm a lazy cunt. I'm gonna say that right now. So the first individual banner to come back is Mayuri, who will be featured along with. Uh, the shit Hiori, not the new one, the shit one, and uh, the uh, mind Yukio. So we're gonna be getting that. And of course, hold on. We, uh, Nemu's banner is second, which will feature along with her uh, Neliel and Xylopro, 
Of course, being the mind one and the speed one. I still want that fucking speed zile up. I need that 25 nand link, man. I swear. And, of course, the last individual banner being Zombie Toshiro. Who will come out alongside with the Bond Orihime, who is a good 20 DR link for Retsu and for Soifon for when, when you want to auto. And Rengiku, who is a great Vortex unit for Guild Quest. And that's all the individual banners. So, like I said, save up for the individual banner only if you're two out of the three characters. And lastly, the drop a banner, which you're only going to want to summon on this banner if you pull the none of the characters. None of them whatsoever. Only summon on this if you didn't pull Mayuri, if you didn't pull Toshiro, if you didn't pull Nemu. Only summon on this if you didn't pull any one of them. And the fillers are Renji, Shunsui, and Jackie. And again, the, it's 3% rate to even pull a 5 star, and per character, it's 0.5% chance. So you only have 1.5% chance to even pull a manga character, which is even more bullshit than the double chance banner, if I do say so myself. So literally, this is how you should go for, and now that we're done, we're just going to go ahead and take a look at the gameplay of the characters, because, um, yeah, I normally do the gameplay first, but you know what, I figure, you know, let's just get the main topic out of the way. And then we'll just go ahead and break down. Excuse me. And then we'll just go ahead and break down the characters. So we're gonna watch the uh, Japanese gameplay of each of the three characters, just because uh, they have a, a bit better. They show off the units better with their strong text because the global side of things, it's just purely shit. Like they tore oh, the zombie. Sorry, they all horribly showed zombie Toshiro's uh, third strong tech. And here it's actually showing off a bit better. So. For starters, let me just go over, uh, wait, hold on, this was, okay, this was my, okay, Zombie Toshiro. So he's a, a captain with, a mind captain with a Ronker Killer, so he is easily going to be replacing Banken, because he is a much better unit than Banken. Because his first has 475 radius, it's a lunge attack, rate, uh, second, second strong attack, somewhat of a lunge, it's crazy. And the third strong attack is almost full screen, not a thousand radius, but 975, and also attacks from the distance. So let's just go and take a look at his gameplay right now. I'm gonna shut the fuck up and let it play. Even though I bashed on this Toshiro, he actually pretty much impressed me with those strong attacks. So let's just go and take a look at him all uh, together. So his third strong attack is very easily similar to Kusaka's where he basically attacks what's in front of him and only what's in front of him. And most importantly, look at the range of this strong attack. It even hit the mobs that are all the way from over there. That is insane. And the best part about it is that you don't even have to charge his third strong attack. You just press one button and boom, instantly you manage to destroy the enemies. And also, let me keep in mind, let me tell you guys one thing. All three of these characters have a 20% Berserker as a skill than a, that, rather than a soul trait. And they all have strong attack recharge. So these aren't your average thousand year Blood War characters. They will be hitting harder than most of the older ones. Which is insane, if I do say so myself. Okay, wait, hold on. This is the Japanese side. So yeah, that's Toshiro for ya. I think he's a really great unit. And second strong attack. Yo, the range is insane. He hits almost everything that is in his way. And his first is a typical lunge attack. He's a good unit. I hope I can pull him because I am going to be needing him for epic raids. And he's also better than Banken because he's got Sprinter. He's got Berserker 20%. He's got Frenzy. He's got debilitating, proud, uh, weakening, and uh, freeze on everything. He's a great unit, if I do say so myself. And now we're gonna ha go on a go ahead and take a look at Nemo, who is actually the best of the banner. Because look at his look at her skills. She's got Sprinter plus two, Long Reach twenty percent, Bruiser twenty percent, Havoc twenty percent, Berserker twenty percent, Frenzy, Devastation forty percent, Freeze immunity, and her special can fucking revive. 
So let's just go ahead and take a look at her um, gameplay. Why not? She's she also has havoc, so she has overall a thousand two hundred radius on that third strong attack, which is fucking insane, man. Okay, let's just go ahead and start. Let's go ahead and take a look at Nemo. Kudos once again to K-Lab. It's because... Now, I will say this in my personal opinion, she's not better than Thousand Year Blood War Toshiro, but she is actually up there. Because let's just go ahead and take a look at her gameplay. So, of course her third is typical full screen, but goes beyond being full screen because she because her radius is over a thousand. She has a thousand two hundred radius. So it's basically gonna be hitting enemies that are outside of the screen, which is insane man it's fucking insane and her second strong attack now i will say this the width is a lot less but she has a bit more range with that second strong attack and no range collision either which is really nice and hold on let's see look at this shit it hit the enemies all the way at the back nemu is insane for a unit that doesn't have any status ailments and she can revive on her special. She is fucking amazing. And her lunge is really, really good. Nat is also good. I'm really impressed with Nemo. They made... We finally have a great Nemo, lads. We finally have a great one. She is officially numero uno best Nemo in the game. Second best being the Christmas one. So yeah, that's Nemo. And now... <coughs> up next we have Mayuri, which is really interesting as a character. Because he does have some interesting perks on his uh, kit. Now, he too also has Sprint and Plus 2, so he is also going to be, just like Nemo, somewhat viable in, in guild quests. Bruiser 20%, Berserker 20%, Devastation 40%, Frenzy, Debilitator. He's got weakened defense on his special, and his uh, he is immune to all uh, status ailments. So he can't be frozen, he can't be poisoned, he can't be burned, he can't be weakened, he can't be lacerated. So, you do any of those status ailments to him, he isn't going to be affected by anything. But that being said, um, his strong attacks are going to become somewhat weird. He does not have Havoc unlike Nemu. But his strong attacks are actually pretty good if I do say so myself. So let's just go and uh, get right into it. Let's, let's just go and take a look at Mayuri-sama. So let's just go through it. Last manga character. Yes, okay. Last manga character, so let's do it. ファンカイ。ようやく臨めたよ。本日は急ぎ地蔵。またいっぺん招待。ファンカイ。ファンカイ。ファンカイ。ファンカイ。ファンカイ。ファンカイ。ファンカイ。ファンカイ。ファンカ
it has a bit more width and range. And more importantly, there's no range collision towards it. Meaning that he won't Mayuri won't push back the enemies. He's gonna be able to hit the enemies, not push them back, and do consistent damage towards the mobs. And he has insane range, I swear. That is like look at that shit. More importantly, we need to take a look. <laughs> wow, he I swear that's that's almost fucking Red Eisen level of first strong tech. And this first strong tech is really interesting though, because it get, he surrounds himself in spiritual pressure, in some sort of spiritual pressure, and then he will go and strike with a lunge attack. Really interesting. I like how they made Mayuri. He's got debilitating paralysis on everything. So overall, he's a pretty good unit, if I do say so myself. All the manga round six units are actually pretty good. None of them got shafted, if I do say so myself. Oh, somewhat, somewhat they're not as uh, I don't know as amazing as the prior rounds, but I think they're really amazing, if I do say it to myself, but most of the characters, um, um, okay, sorry about that. Most of the characters can kind of really be replaced, because Toshiro, if you have Banken, you can, you can do just as well as him in Sinkama Quest, even though Banken is slower and doesn't have Sprinter. Mayuri, he can easily be replaced with Pasta Yoruichi, and uh, he'll be able to, and yeah, those characters will be able to do just fine. Nemo, you can easily replace her with Thousand Year Blood with Toshiro. But overall, they're still great characters. I'm actually going to summon for them. Am I going to go all in? I really don't know, if I do say so myself. I really don't know. I do want all three characters. And I want to be able to pull Shunsui as well. So I don't know, man. Let's see what happens. By the way, I have, I have 4,500 orbs ready. I am going to summon tomorrow, but I won't be able to do a live stream. I'm just going to do a recording session once I'm back. Or, or I don't know. I gotta survive for fucking... Uh, six hours out and try not to have the temptation to summon. It's going to be a bitch. But yeah, this has been your boy, the Death Smasher. I'll see you guys tomorrow for when I summon. Everyone, good luck in your summons if you do decide to uh, summon on Thousand Year Blood War Round 6. So yeah, I'll see you guys in my summons video. Peace out, lads.